Diwali for Spencer. Thank you for speaking to our viewers on Independent Party. Um, I think our viewers would like to ask, or would like me to ask you, um, after the general election, what is your idea of the pathway to independence? Well, what's got to happen in this election to enable us to make progress is for the SNP to win this election and to win this election with a majority of seats. That's the outcome of this election I want to deliver. And what I've set out is that once that happens, once the party conference agreed, we can then start a process of negotiation with the UK government to enable Scotland to become an independent country. Now, I've made no secret that I think that decision should be taken in a referendum, that that's the, the best way for people to decide on an issue of that magnitude and that significance, and we should make it happen that way. But what's crucial is that we need to maximise the electoral pressure on a UK government by securing the biggest vote possible for the SNP. Do you think that, uh, are you confident that Keir Starmer, should he become Prime Minister, well, on that section order. What's important is that we don't let Westminster escape the obligation of operating in a democratic fashion. We live in a democracy. In 2021, a majority was elected in the Scottish Parliament committed to independence and to the holding of a referendum. That mandate should be respected. And this election is an opportunity for us to reinforce that mandate and to make it crystal clear to an incoming UK government that we expect there to be the negotiations that will enable Scotland to become an independent country. And that, as I've said before, will best come about by a, 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 an independence referendum that allows us to, to make that decision and to make that choice. Um, Scotland and, and the, the Scottish Government have just announced that um, We've got to make sure that we've got investment in the housing stock of Scotland and particularly in the, the various needs of the housing stock in Scotland. So some of that is about making sure we've got the resources available for housing investment. Unfortunately, the, the Westminster government has cut the financial transactions budget by over 60% in one go. And that's the resources we were using to invest in housing. That's why we've got a, a, a challenge in our housing programme just now. But I think we've also got to take stock about the fact that Scotland has actually built more houses, more affordable houses per head of population than have been built in England or in Wales. So we're investing. Now we've got to make sure that programme works in all parts of the country so that it works as much in cities like Glasgow or Edinburgh, as well as working in rural communities such as Argyll and Butte, or the Western Isles where I've come from today. So it's, it's absolutely vital that we make sure that our investment programme works in every locality in the country. How do you get around that, um, that cut that Westminster have made on, on that, on that? Well, the, the way around that issue is about making sure that Scotland's in control of our own decisions through independence. Because, you know, no right-thinking Scottish government would act in the fashion that the UK government has acted because it's damaging the infrastructure investment of the Scottish government. Infrastructure investment is the key to strengthening the economic opportunity of our country. And I want to make sure that's sustained through independence. Given, uh, given that there's a, there's a the rally in Stirling in two weeks' time, uh, run by EOB, which is used with the biggest rally for independence, um, would you encourage people to support that rally? Well, I think the key thing that we've got to focus on, what I'm absolutely focused on, is the 4th of July. We need to have the biggest possible vote for the Scottish National Party. That matters more than anything else in the next few weeks. Getting the biggest vote possible and the biggest number of seats possible for the Scottish National Party on the 4th of July. And if anybody's serious about winning independence, they've got to vote for the Scottish National Party because it's only SNP votes that will deliver independence.